I collaborate with Q Beats a lot because I feel like we have a like, good chemistry and every time like we like make a beat or like becomes like a big record. This nigga Q sent me five samples. I'm like, okay, they got to be hard. Flipping a bunch of Q Beats samples today. Q Beats. Q Beats is a sample maker duo from Germany. They have produced some of your favorite songs such as I get those goosebumps every time. I need a light, ay, like a light, ay, slept through the flight. Known for their chopped and detuned melodies that changed hip hop forever. Let's go over how Qbeats became legendary producers. By the way, real quick before we begin, I just dropped my new sample library, Time Machine, available on my website. Link will be in the description. There will be a free version with five samples that you can use, but go grab it. I will be deconstructing later on a sample that will be included in there, but there's a lot of heat, so go get it. So let's start with the sample, Can't Leave Without It, off of 21 Savage, I Am Greater Than I Was. Mm -hmm. I first grabbed the piano from Keyscape and Omnisphere and I copied these chords. As you can see, and this is a consistent theme throughout most of QB's samples, we only have two very simple and repetitive chords. Next up, I rendered it out and brought it into Fruity Slicer where I turned down the BPM. I upped the attack and upped the decay and chopped the sample per beat. Which, if you listen closely, this is something Qbeats do a lot in their samples. Open in new SliceX channel. You want to enable envelope and make this envelope here. And this is what we get. Next up, I found this flute, and if it's not the exact preset Qbeats use, it's something that sounds exactly like it. So altogether, this is what we get. Next up, we'll look into Qbeats' use of real instruments and interpolation. Qbeats made the sample from one of Kodak Black's biggest songs, Tunnel Vision. And now, if you listen to this song called El Aparecido by the Chilean band Inti Ilimani. <laughs> You can tell the sample is almost identical. QB seemed to have recreated the sample and changed up the flute pattern in the second half to make it more catchy and repetitive. We can also see that QBeats like to use real instruments and sometimes work with real instrumentalists and session players as seen in this video by liar player Michael Levy. And in this video, Michael talks about his experience working with QBeats and also plays a solo liar performance that Qbeats actually didn't end up using, but it's a solo that they would have ended up using and chopping it up into one of their own compositions. After watching this Nick Dean producer grind interview, who is a frequent collaborator with OZ, Q Beats, and Foreign Tech, he showed this very unique composition technique. So what I'm doing is basically I'm recording like this randomly freestyle something and then picking like up the next sound. I exported it as one, like the whole whole thing, make it one stem. And then I took the um, Eiffel slicer and just put it in the Eiffel slicer, chopped it up. And then you just, all you do is just, you're looking for some cool sound. Now I cannot guarantee anything, but if you listen to samples like 4AM by Travis Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Cocaine by Logic. You can hear the fruity slicer chops, and it would make sense if QB sometimes use a similar technique when composing some of their samples. Now with all that being said, let's go ahead and make one of our own QB samples. So I first grabbed this Analog Lab synth and I played this pattern. 
which I layered with this pattern. Then I added this instrument. I then added some noise crackle, a percussion loop, another percussion loop, and I bounced it all out and this is what it sounds like. I know, I know, it sounds horrible, but check this out. I brought it into Fruity Slicer and I chose these chops, and this is what I turned it into. To that I added this accent. I added this other accent. Which I reversed. Then I added a flute line for the B section. This was Q Beats. Let me know what artist you want to see next.